hello students so as i said in my last video today i will show you how to add users into your azure devops organization so why you need to add because azure devops is a free account so once you get the subscription you can add up to five users for free if you want to add more than five users you need to purchase the user license or you need to pay up to five users you can add them so what happens when you create an organization you will be working on multiple projects so you want to work with different different people in each project so in that way what happens whenever you go to for suppose i am working on agile project so in this project i want to work with someone so i need to add them if you go to project settings you will not see any button or any option to add users in project settings so then what happens you go to project home page in project home page where you see this project type is public and you can invite people you can invite people so here i will type some my i have another account i will type my other account name it's gmail.com so right now i have outlook.com access in this organization now i want to add my gmail account so this person will be part of this team agile project team so when i am adding this person this person will get some level of access right that is access level is stakeholder that access level is stakeholder let me add him okay now if you see here i have only members one right this will become two let me refresh this page so this has become two now this has become two this person is grayed out the user id is grayed because the user whoever i added him he was he has not accessed this project even once just now i added him so let me confirm whether this person got access or not i will open an incognito window just to make sure so let me go to gmail.com okay here i will see it's rajesh kumar dot okay then going for the account security guys so this is my personal gmail account so i don't want anyone to log in into this that's the reason i have enabled two factor authentication now i am allowing this in my mobile this will be allowed okay now see in my gmail i got the invite so you have been invited to a project in my project so let me join this project now now if i click on join now it will take me to azure devops login page yeah see here now i will give my account so which account they have accessed i mean they have added it there that's my gmail account okay gmail.com and give the password okay for now no i don't want to have this account continuously on this system why because i use other account regularly now see so this user has access in multiple organizations what is our current organization if we go to the other window so that is rajesh kumar m929 and the project is agile project now if you see this user got access to agile project in rajesh kumar m929 what if you want to give access to this user in all the projects okay in my other organization if you go to the organization page i have multiple projects i want that person to be added in all the projects in a single click in a single option then how can i do that so for that you need to go to organization settings okay see in project settings you will not see an option called users but in organization settings you will see an option called users here under users so i added that person right so i added that person he came as a stakeholder he came as a stakeholder okay now what happens here if you try to add users let me add another account okay let me add another account this is another account okay now if you see while adding him i can choose a permission level i can select whatever projects i want to give access so now you tell me which is easy so adding a user at organization level is easy so that you can give access in all the projects see add all or select whatever projects you want to add okay add all or select okay so for this the problem here is if you want to add him at organization level 
you need to be the organization owner now see here if i go to the organization settings here i am the organization owner that's the reason in users page i am getting add users button so if you are not the organization owner definitely you will not see this add users button but now the user is already added because someone added him in their project now once the user is has become the part of this organization let me check the other account now this user is part of only agile project why because someone added him into agile project now you want him as part of first project now go to first project okay go to first project invite now if you type the name you will get the automatically the user see i am getting the gmail i am getting the gmail account because whenever you add any user into one project obviously that user will become member of the organization as well obviously the user will become the member of the organization as well after that i can add him into any projects okay if you want to add him into all the projects then you may need to go to the organization settings and try here sorry uh, yeah here only okay let me go to organization settings when you have multiple windows definitely it confuses us so go to organization settings under users you can add them okay you can add them now what happened i added this user okay i added this user but this user is stakeholder only stakeholder if the user is stakeholder obviously he will not have much access stakeholder is kind of reader or limited access in azure devops organization so once the user is added we can change the access level at organization page only you cannot change his access level in any projects no even if you go to any projects let's say this is a project if i go to project settings okay if i go to project settings there is no option of users only thing is you can assign some permissions you can assign some permissions so if you go to permissions tab go to users you will see the two users and you can change some permissions see this user is has no permissions because he is added as a stakeholder no permissions at all all not set not set not set now what we will do let us change his access level so select this user go to the options change access level okay change access level now instead of stakeholder i am making him basic i am making basic before confirming before confirming make sure you are seeing some access here so something is not set something is not set something is not set right keep an eye on this not set what we will do is we will save this okay now this user is basic user refresh the window okay refresh the window now go to the other window go to the project home page let me go to the project home page so i am part of this organization now go to this organization again go to project settings again go to permissions okay this is because of some the user permissions has been modified right now go to users now go to this user now you see there might be some change there might be some change so he is part of agile project okay done guys